Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, JC here for uh, week seven update. I just want to apologize that I wasn't able to get you guys a week six update out. Um, just ran into some uh, personal issues uh, with work and all, so I had to deal with that. And um, I end up running into a little situation in the 150 gallon reef, end up getting uh, ick. Um, I fresh water dipped the powder blue because he was getting a little bad and he was scratching the powder brown wasn't really scratching he's uh, doing a lot better than the powder blue the coral beauty the bicolored blenny the flame angel all three of them uh, never got affected by it but I got my eyes on them they're looking uh, pretty good like his back upper dorsal fin is uh, almost completely uh, healed in, which is good. Um, what else is new on the tank? But uh, Powder Brown's looking a lot better. He was uh, looking, he was looking bad. But I lowered my salinity to um, one zero two one, and I raised my heat up to uh, eighty one. I'm just gonna raise it up another degree today. To uh, get it close to 82, I want to get it in between 81 and 82. But um, I uh, picked up 21 more crabs. Sorry, no, I end up getting 20. That's right. Sorry, uh, they didn't have any more emerald crabs. I was supposed to get 21. I end up getting 20. They're in there. I got eight. Oh, this glass is a little dirty. I got eight red legged hermits. I got four more blue hermit crabs. And then I got eight. Well, they got two of the crabs wrong. But I got six um, white legged hermit crabs. Okay, I'm just going to wipe this down for you guys. And then I got two other crabs, but I'm pretty sure they're okay. They're going to be really safe because uh, they're pretty mellow. They didn't... Well, there we go. Sorry, guys. Um, they're pretty mellow, mellow. They didn't bother anybody. The black ones are definitely... Not the black ones. Sorry, the white. Here's my little guy. He's got a nice little blue shell, though. Is one of the new guys. There you go, there's one of the reds. Some more. You guys are still just chilling here. Uh, where's this thing? I gotta wipe the glass right here though. It's cleaned up and there's real like, so there's a little bit of streaks there. Alright. There's a couple oh, gotta focus. Some of the new guys right there. I was supposed to get eight blay uh white legged hermit crabs. But I end up getting, I'm trying to find them. They're all over the place now. I don't know how my uh, thing got there, but I gotta get it. it. Looks like I got a little bit of red slime algae there. And a little bit there. I just did my water change and everything. I must have uh, missed that. So. What I'll do is um, I'll just make up a small little batch. I'll get in there and I'll try to scrub that and siphon it out. Same with that. Might not be, but I think it is. There's one of the new guys right there. But um, now I have a total of 31 
crabs in there. I got 30 hermits and I got one emerald. I want to get another emerald at least because they were out. It's going to be a few weeks before they get any more. At least a couple weeks. But I had to change this side of the tank because it took me a few days to uh, catch that powder blue which uh, I had to chase them a bit which uh, caused a little bit more stress on them which I didn't want to. Uh, I freshwater dipped him. He uh, survived the dip but he uh, passed away about three hours later in uh, my 72 gallon which uh, I don't know what happened here because the levels were good in this tank the temperature wasn't though I did notice it was off a little bit it was a little colder so that might have been it this tank was sitting at uh, 77 and uh, my main display I had it at 79 I turned up the heat because it used to be a uh, perfect temperature but uh, we got the central air on now so it affected both of my tanks the temperature because um, I had this guy just about at 82 the 150 gallon but now it's uh, sitting at 80.4 so I'm gonna have to play with it a little bit today to adjust it but the only problem is, is uh, I don't know if I want to adjust it anymore because uh, the central air gets turned off. I don't want my um, tank baking getting too hot, so I might just leave it. Because uh, I, I used to be sitting at uh, 79, so I figure if the central air turns off, It'll only uh, go up a degree, so I should only hit just below 82, hopefully. I know I don't got any corals really. I do have this one. I want to show you the powder brown though. He's uh, looking way better since I started changing my parameters in my tank. Each, each for the last couple days, I've been bringing the salinity down. Uh, one notch a day. So my salinity is uh, finally at 1021, which the, it's not really affecting the coral and the heat. A little bit. I see a couple little polys there turning a little bit white. Or a couple of uh, tips there. Look a little bleached now, but it was doing fine. But keep my eyes on them. I'd rather lose the coral than the powder blue, I mean the powder brown, sorry. Well, I'll show you. He's looking way better though. He's eating uh, really good still. So that's a good sign. That's how he eats all day. You guys can get a good eye. And the blenny always oh, fast not as fast as my powder blue was though tell you that guy was fast it was hard to catch him but I'm powder browns looking so much better I don't know where the it came from but I'm dealing with it at the moment the coral beauty didn't get affected by it. The flame angel never got affected by it. The bicolor blending never got affected by it. Uh, the powder brown was the second one to get it. The powder blue was the first one. And uh, since the powder blue's been out of the tank, he's uh, passed away. What was it now? I got him out when the. Uh, last Tuesday yeah so he's been out of the tank for about four days now 
but the powder brown's looking a lot better. He's not really scratching. The odd scratch, but. really focusing on this guy the powder blue always was hiding from me this guy uh, is not near as shy the coral beauty is uh, used to me the flame angel is slowly uh, opening up to me the blenny he's not afraid of me But I was gonna pick up a blonde nasal tang this weekend, and I was gonna put him in my uh, Q tank, uh, quarantine tank there. But I decided not to. I'm gonna deal with this situation first, get this all dealt with, and then uh, I'll move forward with the reef tank after. Start adding some new stuff. But I did add uh, my cleanup crew because I was figuring. If I'm going to be dealing with ick in my tank right now, it doesn't look like it's bad. It's slowing down on uh, the powder brown. So, just got to hope for the best for this guy. But he's, he's pretty healthy, so I got a lot of faith in him. But um, overall, I'm still happy and pleased with my tank, even though... The little situation, everybody runs into that once in a while anyways. But, I just wish the powder blue would have pulled through. He probably would have if he was a medium or a large, but he was a juvie. And he was uh, previously wounded by the powder brown on the first couple of days of entering in the tank. And then uh, they became buddies, but then... Uh, he just, he looked like he was doing good. He was turning around really good. And then uh, he started uh, making a uh, turn for the worst. There's uh, one little puncture wound he had, a little mark. And uh, it wasn't healing. And then it started to uh, look like it was getting a little worse. So I don't know if that was uh, causing all the stress and made him prone to get nick and then it spread it uh, to the powder brown but the powder brown's holding off really good oh a little territorial in there there buddy all right guys but uh that's a uh, week seven update so this is pretty much the new cleanup crew. Well, added to the cleanup crew is the, pretty much what's new. Yeah, there's a little white leg. Aggressive little guys. But I'll keep my eyes on them. But uh, I'm gonna keep you guys posted on the situation with the powder brown. I tried to keep you guys posted with the powder blue. But I ran into uh, some situations personal I had to get dealt with. And I wasn't able to get out a video for you guys. I do apologize. Because I want to make sure I get my uh, weekly updates out for you guys. For the followers. And the people that are just enjoying watching my tank and the progression. <clears throat> but I'm working on this guy right now. I'm going to check the levels. I bought a refractor meter. So my water levels are good. Got to clean the front of this glass. But I'm going to probably turn this into a reef tank. That's why I haven't copper dosed it yet. I'm hesitating on this tank. So if I have to, I will. But um, I'm hoping I can get the situation dealt with it with uh, dropping the salinity and uh, the temperature. And then I'll get this tank all dealt with. And then I wanna turn this into a nice little 72 gallon reef. All right guys, JC Reefs out and happy reefing.